Hello, hello, my lovelies. Well, Chef P and the pink sauce are back in the news. She went on an interview with one of her critics, and this simply was not it. We're going to talk about it. Without any further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's jump into this. Roll the intro. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, if you don't know what's going on, what is the pink sauce? Who is Chef P? Well, Chef P is a TikTok chef. I don't exactly know if she's a real chef or not. She didn't know what the FDA was, so... What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical products. The pink sauce is not a medical product. Yeah. And she made this sauce that went viral called the pink sauce. Now, there's been some controversy with this sauce recently. It happened more in, like, summer of 2020 to spring. I'm not exactly sure, like, when. But this sauce blew up anyways. It went viral. Everyone was talking about it. There was rumors that it was hurting people, that it was, you know, bad things were happening with it. And then people started to review it and show actual bottles. And that's kind of what happened to what led up to what this interview was about. If you don't know, Chef P went on a talk show of sorts, kind of like Mari or those kind of things where they bring two people in to talk and then those two people already have some kind of beef going on, like cheating scandals, that kind of thing, kind of like Mari or Steve Wilkos. I don't know if anyone watches Steve Wilkos anymore, but that was something my older sister loved to watch. It was kind of like the same thing. So Chef P went on this Karamo show. I've never heard of Karamo in my life until now. And the point of this interview was to basically paint Chef P as a victim of cyber harassment. And then they brought in one of the people that made one of the more viral TikToks critiquing the sauce. And this person's name was Allured Beauty. Allured Beauty bought the sauce by herself. It's $20 a bottle. And she got viral because she found a piece of glitter in her sauce. Okay, so I just want to address this comment right here. After going back and looking at the video, I was like, yeah, you are right. So I pulled out the bottle and I opened it up and I had to stick my finger inside of it, but there is a piece of glitter inside the bottle. I don't know if it came from the label, because if you look here, there is glitter all over the label, just like people say it's stuck on with glitter glue. So is it edible glitter? Am I going to die? Is it safe? So, of course, Alert Beauty made a video about this because somebody pointed out to her. She, on her original review, she all she said really was that it was watery and she wasn't sure if it was safe enough to, to consume. So, somebody, when they, you know, seen this piece of glitter, somebody was like, Hey, um, I was just watching your video. There was something shiny on the lid. I think it's a piece of glitter. Could you check? And so she checked on camera and she's like, yeah, there's a big piece of chunky glitter. That isn't safe. So I'm going to have this sent to a lab and see if there's actually micro bits of glitter in this. Because if there is, and it's not just my bottle, this could be a big health issue. So that's what she did. And of course it went viral. And her and Chef P went back and forth, kind of online almost. And that's what led up to this interview on Karamo. And this whole interview just wasn't it. Now, Alert Beauty did try to reach out to the people that make the sauce, which is now people named Go uh, Dave's Gourmet. And people have been reporting that they're being treated horribly by Dave's Gourmet. I mentioned this in my last video about the pink sauce situation. And people have had issues with the sauce. It's not like Alert Beauty is the only person critiquing this sauce for the way it's packaged, the way it's showing up at doors, all of this stuff. She just happened to go the most viral. 
And according to Chef P, uh, she seen this as an opportunity to go viral, and she did. Wow. Yeah. Now, they have deleted this entire interview from the internet. Like, it has been deleted because of how people are reacting to this interview. Because of how biased it seems in Chef P's favor. And basically putting all the blame on this specific woman for her video reviewing this sauce. And I do have some clips. I have some clips of it just to show you guys. But they're from TikTok. So <laughs> if you see like captions or stuff on the on the clips, that's basically why is because I had to find them on TikTok. And there wasn't really that much being reposted by the time they took it down. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play those clips. And this is a moment of reflection. Absolutely, and I think it's a mo moment of learning on both parts. I think the learning is more on your part. Yeah. I, from me saying that you're that meant because you're a troll. You're not different from anyone else that was trying to slander my name. Well, so, so what, Alice, what happened after you said after you said that you said that you got the product, you did the video. What happened? Because that's the part that I'm missing here. What so, happened? Basically, I'm a single mom. Everyone on my platform are moms, kids between the ages of. They see something go viral on TikTok and immediately, if you look at all my videos and the people who stitched my videos, they're kids. So they see something and they want to buy it immediately and they want to share it at school with all their friends. So my concern is if this is making people sick, because who knows, there's people saying they die from it, but I don't believe it. And I've stated that multiple times. I'm here telling the moms and everything. And I said, I'm excited to see where she so goes. So you start telling the mom what? That this that product was going to make I'm people sick? I'm going to get this product tested at a university but I'm not testing for ingredients I'm not trying to tell people your recipe I just want to see if it was shipped incorrectly and put all the rumors at rest but do you think that was um, sufficient evidence or information after you had tasted it you opened the bottle it's not like I feel like if you had a good heart about it you would have purchased it like you said you purchased it on July 1st Absolutely. right you would have purchased it and said, you know what? I feel like this woman is doing this wrong. I'm not even going to consume it myself. I'm going to take it to the laboratory to get it tested with the seal on the bottle so I can educate my audience on what's really going on. So absolutely, and I've seen it. I understand. And I've seen it in my video. You know, I didn't just text this product and say, this is the result. I said, basically, this is my sample. Everyone knows I opened it. Comes from my sample, made her sample. And it states so it clear as day in my I, video. I, but this is the unfortunate part is because now that you've done that, it does open up a can of worms. So if you really were concerned about the kids, and I'm, I'm gonna take you for the benefit of the doubt, why not take, do the proper research instead of letting that go viral? Because without the facts, you're actually not protecting the kids because now something is getting spread that you don't really know the truth. Can you acknowledge that your behavior in this particular moment was detrimental to her? I don't think so because I have... Why don't you think so? It's because the thing to really figure out like where you're at right now. Because I really do believe if you want to give mommy in your space of like really protecting children, protecting other mothers, I think it's important understand how your actions could be detrimental to children yeah. and other mothers. I'm sorry if they, you know, may hurt your feelings and things like that, but like he said earlier, you have, have to understand. nothing to do about my feelings. At this point, I don't even have feelings. I am talking about my business. I am talking about the thousands of threats that me and my children have received from the false accusations that you all are making against me. You, you know, Chef you said you want to talk about this and understand business. And at the end of the day, you made a mistake and you took accountability for it. At the end of the day, I don't think you're fully taking accountability. You see what I'm saying, right? It feels like they were trying to paint this alert beauty person as like the front runner or the ringleader of all this online harassment. And I'm not saying that Chef P was not receiving harassment, 
but I don't believe it was because of this one specific reviewer because, again, multiple people reviewed this product because it was viral. She paid for the bottle to do a review. That's what she does partially on her channel is reviewing sauces. So, of course, she's going to give a review on a sauce that is viral because that's how the internet works. That's how TikTok specifically works, is taking one thing somebody made and making content out of it. It's why sounds go viral. It's why certain trends go viral is because people are doing the same thing over and over and over again and that's how it spreads, that's how it trends, that's how it goes viral. So I don't blame Alert Beauty for doing what literally a lot of people were doing and reviewing the sauce. It just so happens that she's the one that went probably the most viral for it. And that wasn't her fault. She got glitter in her bottle. It came really suspiciously watery. It came without a front label. It came with pronunciations on the back label not being correctly spelled. That wasn't her fault. That was not her fault at all. That was on the side of the packaging. Who did the packaging? Chef P and her people are the one that packaged the product to make it arrive at her door in the state that it did. She is the customer. So I don't know why on this show they would bring this customer and then be like, no. You know what? You and her do not need to grow. I believe that this goes re resoundly on your shoulders because you critiqued her. She is a small businesswoman. How could you do this to her? That's basically what the whole interview was, was gaslighting and trying to make it look like you shouldn't talk bad about a product if it comes in a suspicious way and I find that inherently dangerous I don't understand why this whole interview was just painting Chef P to be this poor victimized small businesswoman who did nothing wrong when she most certainly did do something wrong that's why people are tr not trusting the sauce is because it's coming exploded one of them came exploded, like caked all over the bottle. It... That's a milk product. It has milk in it. That's disgusting to me. I just, this whole interview wasn't it. This whole interview was not it. I don't, Allure's the one that was like, hey, you know, I, I know I could have said some things differently in my review, and I'm sorry for that if it caused anything at all. I'm so sorry about that. We could both learn and grow from the situation. And Karamo goes, no, actually, I think that's all on you. I think that's all on you. There's nothing she needs to do to change. Uh huh? I'm sorry, what? And all Chef P really had to say was like, um, saying that like everyone, like implying that like everyone is reviewing her sauce and giving it a bad review simply because it's viral and people are looking for their moment in the sun kind of thing. When that doesn't seem right to me. She basically thought that people wanting to know if her stuff was FDA approved was a critique and again she famously said you know the what do you mean fda approved i don't sell medical products and all the things that have went wrong with this sauce people are not just seeking clout off of you by critiquing and asking questions about something they're going to be putting in their bodies something they're going to be consuming they want to know if there's allergy issues they want to know if it has milk in it because milk and peanuts is something that a lot of people are allergic to. You can't give people that stuff. So of course people are going to ask if it's FDA approved, if it's approved by the Food and Drug Administration. <laughs> like, people just saying that, like, implying that people are 
looking for clout in some way or just trying to bank off of her success because she is a smart and savvy businesswoman makes no sense when there was so many issues with the sauce and that's why you're having the reputation that you do is because of what you, Chef P, have done by not packaging things correctly, by using inherently glitter glue on your labels. That's why probably how the glitter ended up in that one woman that you just basically blasted on live television for her bringing up that, hey, um, I got glitter in my bottle. And then you're like painting her as a bad person because she brought this up to you. And then say that like, oh no, I didn't get any messages from you. I didn't hear from you. When you literally said in this same interview that you and your team personally went through and emailed everyone from that point in time that had previously bought a bottle of pink sauce. You said you emailed these people and told them of the problems and that you were going to stop production until you got your shit together. That's a good thing. But you're saying that you didn't reach out to her and basically being like, well, why would I reach out to you? Why would I reach out to you? You're not special. Yeah, she really told this girl that she's not special. She is your customer. The customer is always right. The customer is special because they are literally your lifeblood. She is a customer. She paid the $20 for this bottle of pink sauce from you. So you telling her that she's not special and that why would she reach out to you when you just said that you basically reached out to her? It made no sense to me. It just felt like a shit on your critic fest to make her look like a good person. And while I'm glad that, like, the reins have been handed over to an actual sauce company, I really did not like this interview of what I could see of it because I did watch a good portion of it before I had to go do something. And then by the time I came back, it was deleted and I found later clips and YouTube videos online to see the rest of it. So, through this whole interview, it just seemed like a, I'm a good person, you're a bad person because you're critiquing me. And the host, and like everyone was laughing and cheering while Chef P was like, you're not special. You're not special. You're not special. Let me hold your hand. Let me hold your hand and tell you just how not special you are. That you used me to get your clout and how bad that is. Mm-hmm, honey, that's just, that, that's, that's just not what we do. We don't pick on people like me who are smart and savvy businesswomen who have done nothing wrong. I'm sorry, but you're just not, you're just not as special as me. That's how it felt. That is exactly how the whole inter the whole interview felt to me. And it didn't feel right because if you're a business person, shouldn't you be trying to do everything in your power to make the experience with your product as special and stand out as possible? That's why a lot of people go back to businesses and stuff that treat them well, like actual people. So what you bring this woman all the way to wherever you're shooting this, call her out on live television simply because she voiced her concerns with your product. If anything, that's just going to make people not like you. So yeah, that's what I got. I don't, I really don't think this was it. I don't think this was it. I think that Chef P really has some things to work on. And I know that I'm not special because I know she probably won't see this, but like at the same time, that's your business and you need to treat people with respect. That was not treating her with any kind of respect. That was just dragging her on live television simply because she had an issue with your product. Her review, I watched, went back and watched Alert Beauty's review 
There was nothing wrong with her review. She was not saying anything bad about Chef P. She was just saying that, hey, my bottle came really watery. The box was smashed. You know, that could be on the postal service. It came watery. I'm going to go put it in the fridge and then I'm going to open it later and do a review. And that's what she did. She didn't say anything bad about it. She just simply said that, hey, these are my concerns. I don't see what was wrong with that. I really don't. I feel bad for Alert Beauty because that would have given me an anxiety attack for the ages. Like, why are you coming at me? All I did was voice my concerns about your product. I don't see how this is my fault. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I got for you guys today. What are your guys' thoughts about this? Let me know in the comments below. I don't just talk about this stuff, I also talk about books, movies, TV shows, anime, anything that I find interesting, I talk about it on the channel. That's why the name's The Random Show. It's random for a reason. So if you look around the channel, I'm sure you'll find something you like. I love you all so, so much, and I hope you have the best day. Bye.